Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old and because of this we're going to be unboxing a new game today and this is Geometric Art um, from Emperor S4 and it calls itself a rolling and drawing game. Um, so first things first, let's have a look at this box. So it's a nice little square box. It is a, a very nice box itself. It's a kind of textured box. It's really nice. Um, the cover of the box doesn't tell you a whole lot about the game. Obviously artworks are going to be involved and that's also says it in the title, Geometric Art. Um, but as far as I'm aware, this is a game um, like a roll and write, except you will roll dice. And from that, you have to try and use the symbols from the dice to create pictures, um, which is kind of exciting. I don't actually own a lot of um, roll and write games, so let alone a roll and drawing game, which I think is an interesting step to do. So let's see what's on the back. So here we go. So Geometric Art is a game for two to five players. It's supposed to take 10 to 30 minutes to play. And as it says here, there's a lot of interaction in it. Um, a good bit of luck and very little strategy and it's very light to play. And it's got some instructions on how you play. So it says roll the dice, draw a picture, guess the title. Simple as that. <laughs> I like I like when a game keeps things easy. Um, so as you can see, it gives you an idea of what's going to be inside the box. And so the goal is to create a drawing that people can understand and guess the title. So this sounds like a really fun party game to me, you know, like a fancy Pictionary. Um, so it should be exciting. What's the side of the box? Nothing, it doesn't belong in their, their white bordered box line. Okay, so inside. Ooh. So the first thing we see is the rule book. Or is it the rule book? It's not even the rule book. It's like a, ooh, it's a little um, easel. So this feels like a, a regular game board um, and it's nice and waxy. Um, and it's probably hard, it's real. So it's obviously, you can see the logo is on the, uh, the logo is on the back. So clearly we're gonna hold it up like this and go and no one will know and you cover up the bottom so no one knows what it is. I like that, that's very cool. And you get enough of these for five players. Excellent, okay, so what's next down? Okay, so we have the rule book. The rule book comes in, I think it's Taiwanese. I'm not, I'm not sure. And English. Okay, so I see how this rule book's supposed to go. Like so. <laughs> you open up, so it's literally, it's quite a small rule book. What's it say? So, welcome to, there are two ways to play the game. For two to five players and then for three to five players. So I think it's nice that there's a way to play this for two. I thought I would need more bodies, but I don't. Um, so there's the game setup, the goal of the game. There are five rounds of the game. Each round is a drawing and a guessing phase. The player's common goal is to complete five topic cards. Okay. So then gameplay, you roll all the dice available, you secretly write the title, then begin drawing. All right, so sounds fair enough. Drawing guidelines, you may use a symbol on each die only once. So there's some ability cards. There is a scoring guide here written down the side. And there's lots of things underlined and marked over here, which I really appreciate, you know, the little important bits. And then this is actually for the joint um, exhibition, so this is for three to five, which is good. And then the best artist. So yeah, that's it. It kept it very short and sweet. Which, this is the kind of game you don't want a big rule book for. This is, you know, this is going to be a fun party game. This actually is probably the kind of game you'd want to play with your family at Christmas. Um, I know I would, if I had family to play with. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay, so what's down here? Oh, these are the list of the symbols that are on the dice. Um, so you can do a triangle, a straight line, a wavy line, a spiral. You may colour in a closed shape or you may draw a black dot. You may draw a curve. This sounds difficult. <laughs> difficult but very fun. All right. Um, I also love the fact that those player boards aren't like laminated sheets or something. They have boards you can use forever. I do like the fact it came with its own markers. Nice. They're quite small. Um, but they should be perfect. And there's each player colour obviously has their own marker. That, that's just cool. Okay, so let's have a look at these dice considering they seem to be like the core of the game. Um, apart of course from your ability to draw. So there's some very nice wooden dice. Oh, they're nice chunky wooden dice. i give you guys a little, a little look. Yeah, they're, they're very nice dice. Um, very cool. And then we just have the little cards to look at. So you can see, yeah, there's not a ton in the box, but it's not a very expensive game. Um, so 
definitely like party game of the century. And how do I open you? With great difficulty. Will I get lucky and get it done early? Come on. Will that look good? So, doo -doo -doo. yeah, that went down very well. Oh, I'm press four, you never fail. So these are linen finished cards, so they always feel nice. So Geomatic Art Artists. Oh, this looks like a different card than all the others. So is it like an exhibit card? Let's see what the other ones are. So these are all the same on the front. Except for, for this one. That one's got like a plus one on it. I'll leave that there. So here we go. So these are some of the things. So I assume you have to, you roll your dice and you go, the theme is like on Halloween. So you have to try and make something out of the shapes. In the living room. Oh, this sounds hard. Uh, there's more of these special ones. A superpower, a transportation, and the different type. Oh, I see. Yes, because they're different types in the front, you see. So this one's like a square, a uh, blue square, natural disaster. Okay. Very, very cool. I'm not sure I have the rules exactly right, but you get the gist of it. Um, this sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I can't wait to try this out. This is like my type of party game. I have to admit. So um, it's cool to see Emperor S4 do like a nice party game like this. They did one before, um, which was Match Me, What Colour Is This? Um, it didn't, I don't think it's had a big release here. Um, but it's also quite a fun kind of guessing game with your friends. This one's definitely more interactive and I think it'll have far more laugh out loud moments. I can't get over these. Aren't they, aren't they just amazing? Like to get, the, to get them in the box like that. Super, super cool. So. Are you, what do you guys think of geometric art? Is it something you play? I think it's something anybody would play. I, I think this sounds like a, such a fun game. Um, so you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you did, why not like or subscribe to the channel because then you can find out if I make more or when I make more videos. Um, and you can learn a little bit more about some other exciting games. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and trying to figure out how to draw better. Hmm. All right then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.